you clicked on this video because you think there's something exciting about streaming and content creation and you're wondering if you should get into it. Well, let me give you some advice. If you like the tips and advice you're about to hear, make sure that you're following me on Twitter and TikTok. And if you want to be able to engage with me and ask me questions live, make sure you follow me on YouTube and Twitch so I can help answer your questions. Content creation can be a very rewarding activity, a very rewarding hobby or business, depending on how far you want. I absolutely think people should think about it, consider it if it's something that makes sense for them. You want me to tell you if it's the right thing for you. I do not know. Only you know if it's the right thing for you, but I'm gonna tell you how to figure that out. You need to use the rule of the five whys. Ask yourself if you should be a content creator and then ask yourself why up to five times to break down that question until you get to an answer that tells you definitively if you should do it or not. So I'll wait while you uh, ask yourself those questions. You good? You good? You good now? Now you need to understand what it's like being a content creator. And that a lot of that really depends on how serious you want to take this. If you really want to turn this, if this is a serious hobby for you or a small business, a side hustle where you intend on making money and making money is one of your goals, then you need to understand there's a lot of things that you're going to have to do along the way to get to the level of success that you have set for yourself. Whether you're working and streaming on Twitch or YouTube or creating content on YouTube or any other site, you need to worry about discoverability. Some platforms are better than others, but no platform is perfect when it comes to people finding your content. There's a lot of things you need to do. Some of it couldn't be doing SEO, search engine optimization, adding keywords, doing hashtag research, making sure that all your videos, no matter where it is, have those things enabled in them and embedded in them so that algorithms can pick up and put your content in front of the right person at the right time. If you're doing this on YouTube, you also need to make sure your thumbnail game is on point. If you are not good at making thumbnails, maybe you can outsource or find someone that you know that can make thumbnails for you. You have to be consistent in general across all social media as you're trying to grow because you need to give people a reason to come back to your channel, consume more of your content, and then direct them to your primary content. If you're a streamer, you need to be consistent with your schedule. I'm pausing for dramatic effect because I'm hoping that someone that I will not name is watching this video and yeah, you need to be consistent with your schedule. You need to create quality content. Now that doesn't just mean you have to have the best looking overlays, the best backdrops, the best lighting, the best equipment, the best everything. It's providing some kind of value, educational, something that's funny, whatever it is, it needs to provide value. It needs to be concise. You're gonna have to rearrange some of the other priorities in your life because being successful at content creation takes a lot of time. A lot of people talking about going full time in content creation. I can guarantee you long before you ever quit your nine to five job, you will be working 30, 40 hours a week doing content creation, whether you're live or not, because there is that much to do. This is not something that is easy. This is not something for the faint of heart. This takes a lot of work if you wanna be successful. You've gotta worry about doing collaboration. You gotta worry about networking, reaching out to other people. As someone who started their journey in content creation, focusing purely on numbers and analytics and data, I can tell you that is the wrong approach. You need to pay attention to your analytics. You need to pay attention to data, but you need to pay attention to people first. You need to basically do some sort of grassroots drive to meet people, to get them to come to your streams, to get them to consume your content, all of that stuff. You need to do it person by person if you have to. Because if you think about it, if you want to say make Twitch partner, one of the required information Twitch partner is 75 CCV over a 30 day, 30 day plus period really. But that doesn't mean you need to appeal to all hundred and something million people that view Twitch every month. No, 
You need 75 people. You need to have a following across a few different platforms with different people, unique people that you reach out to that you know that you can kind of come and watch a stream. And I'm not talking about support for support. I'm just saying you need to build communities on other platforms and then convince those communities to come watch your main platform, whether it's YouTube, whether it's Twitch, whatever it is. So that, that is a taste of what it's like to be a content creator. So if you answered the question yes earlier, when you did your five whys to figure out if you should be a content creator. Well, if you didn't, you wouldn't be watching this still. But you said yes then. You listened to a bunch of the things that you have to deal with as a creator. Now you need to decide if there's something you want to do. If you want help trying to figure that out, if you want to go a little bit deeper, make sure you click on the link below, elevated.media. That's my company where I do coaching and mentoring and a lot of other services. There's myself and a few other people that are ready to help you figure this out and help get a plan for you today to figure out how you're going to be better at what you do. But until then, be smart, stay safe.